Tell us about the Young Presidents Organisation. Uh, uh, you're, you're related to this, and there's a survey, the Glo Global Pulse, as well. Just tell us exactly what's going on. Our viewers are not familiar with the organisation. Yeah. So I'm a member of the Young Presidents Organisation, which means I used to be young when I joined. I was under 40 <laughs> when I joined. Do you have to give up membership when you hit a certain milestone? Yeah, yeah. At 50, you have to retire, unfortunately. You graduate. So I'm still young for now. Uh, we've decided to do a Global Pulse, which should give us information what's going on in the global economy. With more on the survey results, I'm joined right now by Dave Maney, co-founder and chairman of Headwaters MB. Good to have you on the program, sir. Thanks, Maria. How would you characterize how CEOs are feeling today? They are feeling relatively optimistic. They're particularly feeling optimistic about their sales growth, which is a good thing. Interestingly, they are feeling actually quite conservative about hiring and quite conservative about investment, which to me suggests that they're working to get more and more productivity from the same number of employees. So good news on the productivity front, probably good on the economic growth front, not so great on the unemployment front. We're seeing, if you like, uh, really across uh, the planet and, uh, and, and represented in Asia as well, a jobless recovery. So sales are rising faster than, uh, than, than hiring expectations. Okay, Terry, uh, Bertie in Hong Kong, a two-part question for me. Number one, um, you know, you cited the Eurozone and how uh, depressing the uh, environment there is. Does this, you know, what is the interlinkage between the results of this survey and the fact that in Europe you're talking about an average, you know, top marginal tax rate of approaching 48 percent, average VAT of 16 or 17 percent, and you look at the ease of doing business in Asia, number one. And number two, would you make an exception to that 45-year-old rule for Martin and myself if we ever decide to become presidents of any organization? And in fact, this is the only survey that's conducted globally on a quarterly basis. Now, let's uh, get more on what uh, respondents are really saying. Let's uh, talk to David Lai, an executive member of the organization, also the CEO of New Power Groups. So, you know, we are looking quite positive in the emerging market. Uh, 69 point. Now, I got I to gotta say, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen any kind of an index <laughs> in this year, which has read quite so high. Uh, are CEOs living in a world of their own? Um, I don't think so. I mean, it's 69.9 uh, is just for the Asian portion. If you look at the global survey, we're mm -hmm. talking about in the 50s. And uh, Asia, I guess, you know, possibly rightfully so, people are feeling a lot more confident. In Asia, 77% uh, of CEOs actually increased fixed investment by 10% or more versus the prior year. Mm -hmm. And fully, almost three quarters of the CEOs expected to continue to increase investment in the next 12 months as well. YPO Global Pulse brings to Together, I think the only quarterly global CEO survey. There's some US ones and uh, first of all we're seeing people being less optimistic globally and in Europe being one of the EU being one of the most depressed regions overall. What I also find very interesting is that it is reflecting what we see in some of the macro data which is people expect growth in sales. 45% of people ask they respect, expect but only 28% expect growth in employees. So it seems that we have an employee free global growth. Uh, having said that, looking at the global scheme, the most exciting areas are the emerging markets. While the Europeans have an index level of 54, just barely positive. I think in China we're at 69, at India at 76, Russia 68, Brazil 71. So the emerging markets are clearly where the drivers are So let's from. bring that to you, Marwan. In, I mean, you've got the steel done. Uh, but in essence, the Middle East has also been an area of some weakness mm. post-credit crisis. Do you see the uplift that he describes for emerging markets? Well, first of all, I, I actually participated in the census. Uh, <laughs> so, fellow member here.